I need more espresso before I can't get any more. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Roblox playing Sinking of Greyrock. The game has gotten a few updates since we last played it, and we're joined by Ben and Jake Hill, and so yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we are, we are in the game, and we are going to be experiencing a starboard collision, which means we're going to be sinking by the bow, because... Obviously, the starboard collision occurs at the bow of the ship. Now, there are other players on the game. We are on a multiplayer server, which means the sinking could go any which way they want it to go. I'm not really going to mess with it. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. And as you can see, there's Ben. How are you doing, Ben? Hi. I can see your name is Jim. Oh, yeah, I don't know why that it, that's the case. It just happened like It that. just happened, yes. Now, I do hear music in the game, and Jake Hillen, you want to explain why that is? Yeah, I just turned on this phonograph. Yes, a phonograph has been added to the game, and it plays wonderful non-copyright sounds. So, thank you to the creator of this game, Mr. Greystone, for putting in non-copyright sounds. Now, as you can see, it actually plays and everything, and it's super cool. And not only with that, it's actually added in an espresso machine, so you can actually keep your body heat up during the sinking, because obviously if you go outside, it's gonna get really cold, and your body temperature's gonna basically go down, and you'll get colder and colder until you die. So, yeah, this is very helpful in-game. So, uh, yeah, Jay Killen, you ready to survive, um, the inevitable sinking? Yeah. How about Ben? How are you feeling, Ben? That sound signifies my feeling. Yep, I was about to say the same thing. Anyways, let's go down below and let's do a bit of a checkup on the uh, lower deck, see how they're doing, you know, just a regular interior check. Alright, so let's go down, let's see what's going on, and it doesn't look good. We got a little bit of water coming in, but nothing we can't handle. Um, luckily, the watertight doors are already sealed. You can see them there, they are sealed up, and uh, well, good job, Ben. Don't worry, I can fix this. Everyone open the doors. That is a very bad idea. Well, we're trying to do a, a bow sinking, so. Well, I think it's already gonna sink by the bow with all those uh, holes in well, the hole. Well, we just gotta make sure it does. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make my way back up on deck. Uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy the wonderful uh, realistic waterfall there um, coming out of the side of the ship. It's a very nice uh, experience for sure. Uh, it looks like the power is slightly failing, which is nothing to be concerned about. Hello, sir. Yes, nothing is going wrong here. Yes, as oh. you can see, the driver of this vehicle is trying to save whatever he can out of it, which is, um, unfortunate. Hello. Oh, boy, the lights are beginning to fail. That is not good. Um, we got some cabins here, as usual, as you can see. Very nice. And I'm actually going to turn off the lights in there. I'm going to go up on this deck here. We'll listen to some nice music. We'll get a nice espresso. And hello, Jay Killen. I see you're enjoying a... Oh, you are vigorously sipping that uh, espresso there. Oh, my gosh. How many do you have? This is probably my fourth or fifth one. Why? We need, to, we, need to, we need to put a stop to this. Now, I should mention, you can actually die from drinking too many espressos. You just get too hot and, well, um... Yeah, die. So, yeah, that is uh, one way to go in this game. It's a it's a new way of going, uh, for sure. But uh, let's uh, go back down. Let's see what I'm the water receiving is. my first espresso. Oh, wonderful, Ben. Oh, the water level has increased significantly. Well, then. a human being has just walked into the into the kitchen. And let's you're not the human in. being. No, I'm not. I'm interesting. I'm I'm Jean. Oh my gosh, I left some of the doors open here. Let me just go ahead and shut that. What doors? Well, the uh, boarding doors on the outside, or, well, on the inside and outside, because they bridge oh. the inside and outside themselves. So, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and close those doors just for now. And, um, yeah. Now that we're on deck, you'll notice the ship is really starting to go down at this stage, and, oh no, the mast is collapsing. I'd get out of the way, sir. Uh-oh. That is uh, very close, and they have just narrowly avoided death. Well, anyways, the ship is rapidly beginning to sink, and the water is pouring on to the deck here, so uh, let's go. Yes, the ship is sunk, for sure. Yes, um, let's go. Let's move. I would recommend we leave this area. It is um, getting a little Guys, flooded. Guys, I don't get down the stairs anymore. Hey, Ben, where are you at? I just saw uh, you. Oh. Opening the doors. Why? 
Oh, well, maybe you're evening out the flooding. I don't know. I'm getting some espressos last minute. The water is coming literally right there. Come on. Go, oh, go, go, go. Out. I have to get some. I'll freeze to death. Well, oh, the no, water is literally right here. Come on. Go, go, go. I think the list mostly corrected itself at this point, which is interesting. Actually, I think we have Ben to thank for that. He opened up the doors on the starboard side, so... Oh, crap. I may be trapped here. Oh, this is bad. Wow. I really like how the lights are dimming and turning more orangish. That's really cool. Oh, my gosh. I am trapped right now. This is uh, not good. Oh, hello. Another person has just jumped inside of the engine room. I am trying to escape. It is not going to work out for me unless I wait a little bit. I love how many espressos I have right now. It's a lot. Oh, there we go. I have survived. Let's uh -oh. quickly get to the lifeboats, and I hear the funnel collapsing already. All right, I'm in a lifeboat right now, and uh, luckily I may survive this, so yeah. I actually may want to drink an espresso right now. I am getting quite cold, so uh, there we are. This is quite an interesting view here. As you can see, I'm just calmly sitting there with an espresso, my back turned to the sinking ship, with countless numbers of people running the decks trying to escape the frigid waters. Let me take another sip. There we are. Hey, Jay Killen, I'm going to hop into your boat right over here. Here we go. Well, right. enjoy the ship sinking here. We'll watch it go down. Look at how many people are in that boat that slid down the deck. It's kind of wedged there. Um, oh, yeah. Wow, um, that is pretty interesting. So, yeah, it looks like Ben has gone down with the ship, or he's gone somewhere. But as you can see, the ship is now rapidly plunging to the bottom. There's really nothing left um, but uh, just the very stern of the vessel. And look at how many people are piling up towards that upper deck level. It is going actually really fast at this stage. And there it goes. So, it lasted for quite a while, I would say, um, until the water reached the open coal chutes and the open gangway doors, and obviously it went down. However, that is not the end of it. We are going to hop into a private server, and we are going to experience the sinking with a controllable aspect to it, because in a public server, it can be a little bit difficult to control the way of the sinking. And, uh, yes, hello, sir. Uh, looks like the butler of the Grey Rock has also survived. Hello. Okay, and we're back, and this time we're going to be in a private server, so we'll have control over the sinking. As you can see, or as you just saw there, we're going to be having a port side collision, so basically the opposite of what we experienced in the public server. So that time we experienced a collision at the front of the ship, now we're going to have one at the back of the ship. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's go to the bridge, actually, because uh, I want to be on the bridge when this thing actually leaves port. It's kind of eerie hearing the music in the background, the wind blowing through the air, and the ship just sitting at the dock. And we're about to be leaving, and we're actually going to be sinking very shortly. But, uh, yeah, it looks like all of our passengers have boarded the ship, and we are about to leave in roughly five seconds. So, let's actually watch this thing depart. We'll see in just a moment the doors will close. And, uh, yep, there we go. The, uh, the gangplanks are sliding back. And the doors will shut. And there we go. The doors are shutting. And we are now on the move. So I will actually just go ahead and stay in the bridge here. Oh. I jumped off the boat. I have nine cups of espresso Why? right now. Where are you storing all of that? In my back pocket. That seems a little obsessive, but not totally out of reason. Well, I will uh, let you uh, man the ship, Jay Killen. I'm going to go below, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of inspect the lower decks. So let's go down below. And you can hear, obviously, uh-oh. Oh, gosh, I just heard a loud bang. Did you run into something again? No. Oh, boy. Well, let's go check. And look at that. The power's already out. Let's see the damage. Oh, we no. Just need to, we just need to feed the ship some espresso. It'll be fine. Oh, I don't we think it's going to be fine after this. I'm going to seal the watertight doors. Here we go. Closing the watertight doors. Opening there the watertight are. doors. No, do not open the watertight doors. That is a very bad oh, idea. I was, told, I was instructed to by, by the higher ups at uh, HR Incorporated. Yes, HR Incorporated. That sounds about right. Anyways, I'm sealing these doors. We gotta seal them, obviously, to uh, slow the rate of flooding. All right, let's get some espressos. There we go. Uh, two is a reasonable amount. Did you hear that, Jake Killen? Two is a reasonable amount. 
I think a reasonable amount is something in along the along the lines of ten. So luckily it is daytime. We can see out around us. Obviously, last time we were on board, it was nighttime during the sinking, um, or well, when it finally plunged under the water. But uh, yes, hello, Ben. How are you doing? Mm, this is a wonderful conversation we're having. So uh, yeah, we're just standing here on the deck. Um, we got the captain over here. Well, the captain that was sailing the ship when it smashed into the reef. So, um, yeah. Anyways, Jay Killen, do you have any ideas on how to uh, prevent the flooding or slow the flooding? I've shut all the watertight doors, but uh, could use your help here. They're all open, though. Wait, uh... what? They're all open. The watertight doors? Yeah. Did you open all the watertight doors? No, I didn't. I went down there and shut them all. Well, I went down there and they were all open. I didn't open them, but they were all open. Uh, well, I can't get down to the water tight doors from here, mainly because the water's flooded the entire area, so I gotta go the other way. Ben, the doors are closed. What the? I think I'll finally say it. I think he had too much espresso. You think he had too much? I think you had too much. I don't see myself doing that. Not now, you don't. I only had, I only had uh, 72 cups. All right, guys, so uh, today we're... All right, so, uh, oh, no. The situation is growing worse by the second. I need more espresso before I can't get any more. What a sad end for a true character. Jake Hillen will never be seen again after running to the bowels of the ship to get more espresso as it rapidly floods and sinks. Now, some would say a reasonable way to go down with the ship is to sit by the, uh, the phonograph here and enjoy some music as the ship begins to sink under the waves in a slow, sad manner. Um, for Ben, that is not the case. He, uh, I, I'm, I'm really not sure how that's happening, but, uh, I'm gonna let the phonograph play to the very end. So, uh, Ben, uh, Hope you enjoy the rest of your wonderful voyage here on board the, uh, the Grey Rock, okay? The galley's almost flooded. Oh my gosh, get out of here! Any more? No! This is mine! Thank you, I'll be leaving now. I have my two espressos hey, and I'll be gone. Water. I'm underwater, guys. I fell underwater. And well, the last two. That is very unfortunate, Ben. Where'd you go? I left! I went to the boat deck. <gasps> Gotta open the doors! That just spelled the end of the ship right there. There is no way we can, uh... Well, I mean, really, it's not gonna do much difference uh, from what's happening now. Oh boy, here comes the water, get ready. Let's actually see if we can slide this in. There we go. Looks like it's working a little bit here. Oh, there we are. All right, the boat is in the water. We should be good. Ben is slowly crawling down the deck on his back, mainly his head, actually. Um, and uh, the second boat has slid into the water. Let me see if we can push this boat out of the way. Oh my gosh, come on, go. I'm freezing right now. It's kind of yelling Jesse, at me, telling him I'm Jesse, cold. Jesse, look at the uh, supports for the uh, the thing. What? The, uh, do, do you see how there's legs sticking out of the ground? Yes, I do see that. Are you stuck in the floor? Maybe. Oh. No, I'm not. You know what's interesting? The funnel didn't collapse. I don't think I've ever seen that before. A true man goes down with his espresso. Oh no! Well then, that is actually truly the end for Jay Killen there. He is going down with this ship. Well, I must survive drinking just a nice cup of espresso there. I might drink a little bit more because I am freezing cold. So, surprisingly, the funnel didn't collapse. I don't know if that's a glitch or that's intended, but that was pretty interesting. All right, there he goes. He is uh, descending into the ocean there with his espresso. And Jay Killen is gone. Um, I'm not sure where he went. Oh, there he is. He is quite literally- Oh, nope. He has survived. I thought you were gonna drown yourself there. Um, which would have been quite sad. Alright, so there it is. And, uh, looks like at least Jay Killen and I, I don't know about Ben there, but, uh, Jay Killen and I have survived the sinking of the Grey Rock once again. And, yeah, um, we also got to check out a cool update that includes a phonograph and an espresso machine, which Jay Killen really seemed to enjoy. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.